Hey everybody, and Tony here, and this is my 300th music-related review. And what better way to celebrate this milestone than with my review of Veselina Kasarova, Edgar Kraps, and Jean-Christophe Spinozzi's concert, which I saw at the Konzerthaus am Gendarmenmarkt. Along with the Konzerthaus Orchestra Berlin, they all performed works composed by Josef Haydn and Camille Sanson. Veselina Kasarova has been a mezzo whose career I have been following for quite some time, most specifically ever since I was about 12 or 13. She's basically specialized in a huge array of roles, from the lyrical roles of Cerlina from Don Giovanni to the pants roles of Farnace from Mitridate and Sesto from La Clemenza di Tito to the bel canto roles of Rossina and Angiolina, to the more Falcon roles of Giovanna Seymour from Anna Bolena and Venus from Tannhäuser, to her more recent dramatic mezzo roles of Dalila and, of course, Madalena from Samson and Dalila and Rigoletto, respectively. When I heard that she was going to perform tonight at that very concert house, I was really, really excited. And she was, simply put, the biggest highlight of this particular concert. She performed two works, mainly the cantata from Josef Haydn, Ariana Anasso, and of course, the very famous Mon Coeur S'ouvre Ta Voix from Camille Sanson's Sanson et Dalila. Let's start off with her first concert piece, which I thought she sang very, very wonderfully. She was able to give the role of Ariana a lot of pathos and beauty and an unearthly charm that just makes her all the more alluring to watch on stage. And she just has a very gorgeous figure. She was able to put herself in this particular aria and she did an amazing job with it. And with Mon Coeur Sur Ta Voix, she was able to throw herself into the role of Dalila, making her quite conflicted, but at the same time, a uh, love goddess. And she was able to find a lot of places where she can find a lot of certain nuances to bring this character to life. And she was just very consummate as an artist all throughout. Now, while I really love that signature Slavic tambra in her voice, which is so rich and round and rumbling, but at the same time quite electrifying in the high notes. And while she has a very attractive middle range, there's something that I seem to notice that has become quite the habit of hers. And that is the tendency to sing all of these glottal attacks, which at times can be excessive, but at other times, can be a little bit of a minor annoyance, but not the type of annoyance that would detriment an entire performance. Despite those little interesting yet annoying habits that were quite present in her singing, I still have to say that Veselina Kasarova did an amazing job all throughout. Whether one likes the way she produces her voice or not, especially with all of those glottal attacks, which has basically become a habit of hers, one still has to give major credit to Madame Kasarova for her consummate artistry, her overall grand stage presence, and the fact that she was able to portray glamour quite well. She was able to really have it all and put all of these factors to the best of her abilities and she took advantage of each of these factors and really made it her own thing. And I would really love to see a lot more of her live because it is a voice that simply needs to be heard live and not only on records because I basically followed her mostly through YouTube clips 
and on listening to her on records. But her voice was best listened to live. It was a very sumptuous sounding timbre. It was a gorgeously produced mezzo sound, even with all of those glottal attacks. Some excessive, some kind of there. But with all of that said, she shone like the brightest star ever. Equally as amazing was the conducting done by Jean-Christophe Spinozzi. The enthusiasm this gentleman had just flowing from his fingertips to the baton was something to witness. The way he was able to lead the orchestra with finesse, power, grace, agility, and a lot of really amazing moments was something to witness. There was just a lot of great highlights from Haydn's Bear Symphony all the way up to Saint-Saëns Organ Symphony in which there is this noticeable tune, especially heard in the Organ Symphony by Saint-Saëns, which goes something like da 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 and I thought to myself, that sounds very familiar. It's as if I heard this particular tune when I first watched Babe ever since I was a very little boy. So I kind of found that very interesting and it was such an amazing experience just watching Monsieur Spinozzi just lead the orchestra to the greatest of his abilities. And of course, special kudos has to go to Edgar Krapp's superb organ playing. It was masterfully done, and he really knew how to find a lot of nuances and play along very well with the orchestra. So overall, I have to give a lot of kudos to Veselina Kasarova, Jean-Christophe Spinozzi, and Edgar Krapp, along with the Konzerthaus Orchester Berlin for doing an amazing job. And it was an amazing evening for watching this particular concert. And I just send them all of my love, all of my joy, and a lot of wonderful, wonderful performances to come because they were truly amazing artists. And for those of you who caught this particular concert, what did you think of it? Did you like a certain piece that was played, whether it be sung by Veselina Kasarova or mostly in the form of an orchestra? Or did you feel like there were certain numbers that could have improved? Or did you feel like everything produced in this particular concert was really great? Comment below and let me know. Well, that's all for now. And it's still quite unbelievable that I made it to 300 reviews. I'd love to thank every one of my subscribers for keeping up with me. I'd love to thank all of the singers who were an amazing inspiration and all the musicians and everyone who played a major, major part in my life, not only as a reviewer, but also as a person. And of course, all of my wonderful, wonderful family members and friends for really sticking by me and for showing their appreciation and for being very awesome. So to all of you who stuck with me, for 300 music-related reviews, I say thank you all for keeping up with me, and I really hope the best for all of you. And stay tuned tomorrow for my review of the Mozart Matinee, also with Veselina Kasarova, and that's tomorrow morning. And of course, tomorrow evening is my review of Verdi's Don Carlo at the Staatsoper Theater. So until then, Good night, everybody, and stay awesome.